commands respect, but not because he demands it, but because he earns it. Part of the way I like to be a leader is that I'm, I have an open door policy, I am easily accessible, and people appreciate the fact that I'm a problem solver. As a new grad, he always took the time of saying to me, hey Isabel, go and assess this patient. Let's come together. I'm curious to know your opinion. I'll show you mine. Let's develop the care plan. What I have come to understand is the most comfortable jacket for me regarding leadership is to kind of be somewhat calm and reflective and thoughtful and not particularly immediately reactive to things. I, I need to think about things, I need to ponder them. I like to get the full spectrum of input before I, I make a decision. I've just been um, so happy to have had a chance to, um, to meet and, um, and get to know Stephen and work with him closely. Um, the contributions that he's made to um, St. Paul's, um, to the department, um, to his patients are, um, are, are just so incredibly valuable. He always puts others first in terms of his decision making when it comes to people that are um, under his supervision. So he will ask other people to do things that he's not prepared to do himself. During the months that the hospital, the emergency department and the mental health program were under very, very close scrutiny by the public and the media, um, it was a very, very difficult time for the staff. Stephen, uh, being the leader on, our, on PASU, which is the most acute unit we have, um, where the nurses do the initial assessments and stabilize patients before they're moved. So they, that unit has about 89% of all of our admissions to our program come through there. Uh, so they're probably impacted um, quite heavily in the sense that they, they knew all the people that were involved in these cases that hit the media. I know from my own experience and my colleagues that it was a very difficult time and it's the type of stuff that people take home with them. Stephen was very good at giving individual feedback to nurses that he recognized were having a, maybe a more difficult time than some, um, just reassuring them. I couldn't do the job that I do um, on a day-to-day -day basis uh, without his um, help and support. I like to think I have made some positive changes in the mental health program, both in uh, our department and in the emergency room, and it is it's really very, very uh, warm feeling to be acknowledged for that. Not only is Dr. Fitzpatrick an excellent leader in healthcare, uh, but I think uh, there should be an award for his ability to um, up the fashion sense of St. Paul's Hospital. He's very sharply dressed and I think that's uh, other things that uh, staff here could try to emulate but they won't succeed so maybe they shouldn't bother.